question. We've got to evaluate all of these different integrals using the fundamental theorem of, without using the fundamental theorem of calculus. So we're going to use the properties of definite integral. So the first one is from uh, integration, from, integration from negative 2 to 0 of x squared dx. Uh, so let's see. Uh, this can be written as, this can actually be written as, uh, 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 if, we, uh, if we consider x squared, so x square is an or uh, is an even function. That's an even function. So we're gonna say that uh, uh, integration within the limits of negative two to two is nothing but integration from negative two to zero plus integration from zero to two. So if that is the case, and this is nothing but two times integration from zero to two x square dx as per the uh, properties of uh, even function this is equal to negative 2 to 0 x squared dx plus 0 to 2 x squared dx so clearly from here uh, if we take this over to the left so we finally get uh, the integration from 0 to 2 x squared dx same as uh, negative 2 to 0 x squared dx and uh, this value is something which we already know it's given in the question right that's 8 over 3 so clearly negative 2 to 0 x square dx is same as 8 over 3 so this is uh, this is the answer to uh, part a let's talk about part b so in part b actually we in a way found it because negative 2 to 2 x square dx is nothing but 2 times uh, uh, it's nothing but 2 times 0 to x square, 0 to 2 x square dx because that's an even function. So this becomes 2 times 8 over 3, which is 16 over 3. Uh, then we talk about question number C. Uh, it is uh, 0 to 2 negative minus x square dx. And this is nothing but minus of 0 to 2 x square dx and uh, this uh, this is something which we already know 0 to 2 x square dx is nothing but 8 over c so this becomes negative 8 over 3 and uh, then we have option d the last one and uh, likewise 3 is going to come out from here so this becomes 3 times integration within the limits of negative 2 to 0 x square dx and uh, negative 2 to 0 x square dx something which we just found it's 8 over 3 so 8 over 3 3 times 8 over 3 is nothing but 8.